there. What did you say? It's a tree flick ball right there. What are you pointing at? What two drivers are we comparing today, Daniel Sun? Today here at we're Torquay looking. Golf Club. Today we're looking at the Cobra King F8 Plus. Right. And we're comparing it to the Rogue, Callaway Rogue. Ooh. Driver. Interesting. Outdoors, but with outdoor numbers as well. We'll use quad to give you some obviously off the tee, so dry numbers really, yep. to be honest. The only thing that's going to be different uh, is that obviously we're going to have a little game of long and straight. Yep. We'll just do longest drive on each one, but got to be on the fairway. Got to be on the fairway. Um, so that will throw in our pat pat to whacking. Do you know what I mean? It's gaming. Will those numbers change or not? Let's get stuck in. So looks Dan, any preference to kick us off? Obviously one's very grey based and one is more blue and black. Mm -hmm. No, for me they both look, they're both a nice looking head. Uh, I'd be happy gaming both of those. We've got um, stuff on both top of both of these clubs, haven't we? So you've got ridges on the top of the Cobra and yep. the Callaway trying to help with aerodynamic, aerodynamic. ideas. Yeah. Uh, any of them off-putting or not in any way? Not really. I think that the probably the Cobra is more defined. You can see that a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Callaway kind of blends a little bit more. Okay. So both of them have carbon crowns, I think. Yeah. Um, both of them have changeable neck sleeves. Yes. So you can tinker and tailor and dial in. Yeah. Maybe a fraction more extensive. This one covers quite a lot of lofts, as I remember, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. This is only going two degrees max. Okay. Um, this one can move from sort of eight and a half up to probably 11 and a half. Okay. Um, but obviously you've got different lofted heads if you really wanted to tinker around. Yeah. Jailbreak in row, continuing yeah. on from the Epic. Two bars joining the bottom and the top. top. Stability and more speed, they're saying. Correct. Forged face is it on the um, this is this CNC is, milled face on the Cobra, is isn't it? This is a forged face, yeah. That's what they're saying. Trying to get that um, get the tolerance right down as thin as they can get it in certain areas of the face. Weren't they the first to start talking about twist face ideas? Actually, that one has variations in roll and bulge. I think that one with the milling because they say it's that precise. Again, I've never really seen any evidence of that helping me hit more fairway. No. And then obviously we've got the plus. So in theory, this one could come out slightly lower spinning because we do have the lower weight in the front. We do, yeah. But on dry testing for me, both of these weren't far off similar on performance, which is why we're going to compare them. The the if you remember the, when we did our perform um, our testing with the F8 and the F8 Plus, yeah, it was literally within a hundred or a couple of hundred revs. Absolutely. Max. So Dan's hitting the Cobra first. Oh, that's a great shot, isn't it? Is it a little left, is it? Might just be left edge, left rough, just. 259 carry, 25 spin. 259 carry is pretty good for your numbers, that's is it not? That's very good for me, yeah. That's a good spin for me as well. Absolutely. So very good numbers from the Cobra there for Dan. And I would say you hit that pretty good, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, that was very nice, yeah. Felt good as well. So rogue. That is a little left. Different sound, is it not? Yeah, it's um, duller. It's yeah, it's more thuddy, isn't it? Which I like in the rogue. I don't I do. mean that I, as a I, bad I, thing. I think a lot of good players tend to move to a duller, duller sound. To be honest with you, here on tour, don't you? Three, four, two, three, nine difference in mm. uh, carry. Two, three, nine. So, so 15 yards of carry drop and spin increase. It's, all um, from a tee. Strike is king. Strike is absolute king there. We'll get down there and see the difference it's made for those two shots as yeah. well. I do like the look of the Cobra. Quite tailor-made-esque in its two tones, even though it's different colours. Yeah. Grey to black and what have you. I would absolutely agree with that. Cobra have never been afraid to make a good looking driver though, have they? Again, a little bit down the left hand side. Really cutty though. Is that okay? Don't know, my eyes are so bad. But look, 251, which is pretty good carry, but up to 3000 revs. Yeah. Because I hit it about there. About there, hit it Healy. So any preference over the two? Would you want to game one more than the other in the looks? I like 
like them both. I mean, I do love Callaway drivers, always have done. Yeah. But the Cobra does pretty good. I think it, you know, it looks good. That felt nice mm. for the quality of strike I hit. That's an identical strike, like low heel fairway finder. So that's fairway, isn't it? Bounding down, maybe through to the right hand side. So look at this, it's so, I love this. 3 7, 2 3 3 carry. So you're spinning again, that more again. Yeah, well, I hit it down there. Yeah. But again, it shows you, I mean, this is, that's a gaming shot, this is a par 5. Yeah. I can make birdie off that. Yeah. We're getting so hecked up in dry ball data sometimes, I think. It's actually stopping some people from getting better. Mm. Dan spotted something. Double zero. Oh, that's a damn ball. That is my Callaway. Okay. That's my Callaway there. Do you want to have a little interesting golf story, Dan? Go on, I like stories. Do you remember the numbers? This is my... So that's your Cobra. Remember the numbers? Uh, 251 carry. Correct, yeah. Spinning at 3,000 on a miss it. Yeah. Over there in the fairway is my 233 37 um, 37 spin. spin. Yeah. This one I could funk it because I've got lucky, but it's hard. That one's in the middle of fairway and gone further. Yeah. If you're buying indoors, you're buying this ball. You're buying tree ball. Honey. <laughs> you? I know it's one shot and you would do more and you can only go off those numbers, yeah, but yeah. again. You've got to get out and see how they feel. How, how they, they feel perform. when you hit your regular miss it. How do yeah. they feel when you hit your rip ball? Which one's yeah. going to get you in play more do you feel? Obviously your delivery overrides everything, but your feels have to be worked in. Indoors, this is finishing. Bear in mind the fairway's pitched this way. I reckon this is finishing six yards left of the line. It's ten yards. It's hitting fairway on a dry ball fairway tap. Yeah. And it's, it is interesting, isn't it? Like, uh, we get so many comments like Dan should be gaming this club because he spins at this and he hits at this distance. Yeah. But I never move to those clubs because I'm so confident in the driver that I've got, yeah. which is probably spinning at 3,000 and I'm losing 15 yards carry. Yeah. But I game that one better on an, a on an average than I do Absolutely. the low spinning ones that go carry further. So that's one all, Dan. One all. On that game. Well, I didn't hit the fairway, did I? Oh, yeah, so, well, nor did I, so it's so one really, nil. it's just one nil. Yeah, well, that's very honest of you, yeah. Yeah, because we did stipulate that. We did, we? yeah, and I think that's, a, that's on a that fair. occasion, it's an interesting one. So, same game here. Yeah. So, you can choose for max balls or fairway finders. It's your choice, basically. I don't mind what you do, and we'll look at the numbers. Yours look like a good tee shot down with a yeah, Callaway. Mine, mine was nice. Do nice you like flight. the sound of it? I love the sound of this, yeah. You are more of a fudder, aren't you? Yeah, I do like a good thud. <laughs> uh, what were your numbers? So I got 256 carry. Yeah. Spinning it at 23. Cool, that's low so for that you. Is, for me, that, I mean, I'm expecting to see that quite a way up. There, that's going to gonna run. I overturned mine because I saw you at a good one, so yeah, I went for a went for it. drawy long ball. So 255, I lost a bit of carry because of hit and then spinning at 25 again. This is around 2000 to 25 spin model club, this one for me. So slightly high again because the strike just wasn't quite there. Yeah. But for me, good numbers, what I'd expect from it. Yeah, Yours agree, yeah. is way up there. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see where that finishes in reality because obviously quad doesn't see roll, bounce. I think I flicked a tree and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So Rogue, apart from the neck sleeve, Obviously custom shafts and lofts and yep. then dialing necks in. You're not actually um, dialing that club in much for speed because no. they've got a subhead, haven't they? So they've if got you a want subhead, to change. But what you can do though is um, there are adjustable weights for the back. Okay. So you can get like you could you could I can speak to Callaway and get a few different weights sent through. If you really wanted to if dial wanted in to a number. See what those um, see what the spin numbers you were changing with, with the change in that. And an F8 plus obviously you've got 
those two weights that you can just flip so they've got a regular yeah. version and the plus but as you can see here spin numbers are state the reason we're comparing these because lots of people will be going or some sometimes go why are you comparing the f8 to the rogue yeah it's the, because we get similar numbers on these yeah, two yeah, it makes yeah. it not only a fairer comparison because that's not the right word because i think as well i have people asking me to test this one to that one which is kind of why we end up doing these tests uh, also you know i had the rep in not long ago and um talking about the, the, the f8 series that they've made and i was just saying in my fittings that i've been doing this year you know i'm getting a lot more spin out of the f8 range in f8 plus and f8 in comparison to a lot of the other clubs that i've i fit so not the lowest spinning model they've not ever the made lowest, not the lowest spinning model i had to almost bring him in to prove right yeah that that's what i was getting with them you know so f8 now i reckon you well you definitely as long as you're on the fairway you've won the first one i reckon but we'll get up and confirm Another good drive, that's a really good shot. Straight down the middle. I'm guessing it's a high, higher spinning. I don't know if you call it lower on the face or not. It felt higher on the face. Oh, interesting. It definitely went up in the air. So 260, so your longer carry. Yep. And um, what's that spin? 29. So you've gained 900, uh, 600 revs around. Yeah. But you did gain more carry on that, so you obviously did get that higher on the face, but it, then the it's spin just didn't drop. It popped it a little bit higher, hasn't it? Which is going to be longer out of those two? Oh, I think the Callaway might just sneak it. I'm guessing the Callaway should be longer, even though the carry is more. Should have bounded up. I reckon it was a lower flight. You get a different bounce. Two good shots. Yeah. Uh, so you've used my ball. No, I haven't. You have, so. Have I've I? Got a, no, 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 there's, zero. there's yours there. Oh, well done. Got a spare of you just in case you hit one out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, you've always I've learned it from Rory, you've always got to have a little spare one in your pocket. <laughs> right, I've put you under pressure here, haven't I? You've got two good ones there. Very good shots and good number 260 carry for you. You've been going to the gym or something. Well, I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> Just Good, just straight. up the left that side. Just kick straight. What are the numbers? That Didn't is, see I that now. That much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have you done there? <laughs> two six two. And two six uh, spin. I was two, expecting six, spin. slightly lower spin than that as well. So it kind of backs up the point you just made, doesn't it? so yeah absolutely but but no spinning about... option hit where i hit that which i reckon i'm hitting that basically there yeah which is your like, that's my your... knuckleball area for yeah. face the path deliveries that i give i would like to see that i mean i like two six but i you know if i can sneak that down at two one on the odd one up there i know that's running forever i've hit the longest shot on the launch monitor it's gonna be fun let's get up there let <laughs> me flick ball right there what did you say it's a tree flick ball right there. What are you pointing at? Your ball. It flicked that tree. I'm picking it up. Pick that up. He is rushing forward because it is like photo finish stuff up there. So that ball over there yeah. is your 260 longest hit on the launch monitor. Yeah. Spinning in the mid 2000s. Two threes, yeah. This one here was the one that spun at 2.3 but only carried 2.5 something. Yeah. Which is the longest five, hit six. by a yard or five yards, say. The my one there, which was 2.62, the longest carry on the launch monitor. Scuttle balls has won one. I've won the other, so I guess I stay one up. So the, the thing with I've learnt from this is that the higher I hit it, and the more carry I get, the shorter it goes. Well, we've proved that, obviously, when we play them as people keep watching us. Yeah. We're, so, we're pro me and you can constantly prove that to each other because I am carrying you. Yeah. But then we get up there. It was, So I'm carrying up near your ball. Yeah. And we get Stop. up there, there's two yards in it, yeah. and you've literally pitched 50 yards back. Yeah. There's limitations to playing that way, and then there's also advantages as well. But it shows, I mean, I'm cons consistently longer than you on launch monitor tests. I mean, they're, they're the closest I've ever seen our launch monitor tests get. Really. Yeah, they are. I've been um, 
working on things. <laughs> the thing for me that still can't be ignored, I think, is the like the most interesting point here. Best birdie opportunity we've had so far. So you've got like a nine iron or a wedge in here. Yeah. That part five where I hit it two, three, three off the tee with three, seven spin, I would have been chipping or putting to approach the green stroke hull. I wouldn't have been a wedge out. So the best birdie opportunity on paper was actually the worst shortest hit because it was on a par five downhill and one I could reach in two. That's quite funny, isn't it? That's why we do this outdoors. That's but, why it's so important to go and try golf clubs outdoors. So get fitted in studios, but take them out. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Because I think as well, I this I don't want to take away from the indoor situation and gathering data because. I mean, I've done it for years now and I, it's priceless to my learning, my understanding of my game. But it gets to a point when you've done it long enough that you start realising it has no effect. You've got to actually still, you've got to make the birdie from the 233 carry and you've still got to make the birdie from the 260 scuttle ball that you run up the hill to a wedge on. You go and spin this off the front of the green. The variables are huge, where lots of us seem to be wanting to talk about tip stiffs and 300 revs and oh yeah. damn, should be using this one, not that one because of the, it's cool, I, I, like let's stop thinking that way and get playing golf more, please. Favourite out of those two? I'm going rogue, I just like the dark, I like the Callaway drivers, uh, I could easily game the Cobra if I had to, not a problem as good as anything I've tried. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm more of a Callaway driver fan than I am Cobra, so I'm going with my years of playing alliance with a brand and experience of hitting fairways with a club what about you um I, I like both i think probably if anything i prefer the duller sound off the callaway yeah i would edge towards um, that so that would probably push me towards the callaway but they're both i think they're both good drivers i think they both look great feel great but callaway just edges it for me 